Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Like before again I bring the some latest update of the Iraqi dinar. So guys today we will discuss about the latest exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar, Iraqi dinar revaluation and the big news came out inside Iraq and Iraqi dinar development. So guys without wasting time we start the video. If my video is helpful for you please like and subscribe my channel. I pray for you all. God give you long life, good health and wealth and the best of luck. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Subscribe for more new videos today. Let's dive into the most recent updates on the Iraqi dinar. First up shared some major insights. It appears that the Central Bank of Iraq CBI, is starting to bring in hard currency deposits as part of its effort to shrink the money supply by two-thirds. According to my CBI contact, this process is a key component of the project to delete the zeros from the currency, and the committee overseeing this is actively working with banks to retrieve hard currency. This means that the project is officially underway I am big news. Moving on to Guru Samson's update, they mentioned the International Scientific Conference under the theme of development and financial and economic stability to restore confidence in the dinar. This conference highlights Iraq's ongoing commitment to stabilizing its economy and rebuilding trust in the dinar, which is a crucial step forward. Now, let's talk about Frank 26's latest intel. The CBI has informed Iraqi citizens that they are activating banking reform sir and this is huge. It signals that the monetary reform is in full swing. The CBI plans to introduce new lower denomination notes and update the exchange rate. They're also going to roll out ATMs, giving citizens access to their new purchasing power. These steps, alongside the upcoming economic reforms, are going to create more jobs and bring about a real transformation in Iraq. Guru Magi via PDK chimed in with an update from the redemption and wealth management side. Their team is on standby, ready to go, though they're still awaiting the exact timing for when the next steps will occur. A powerful message came from a concerned Iraqi citizen, detailing a frustrating experience at a government bank in Baghdad. The citizen visited the bank to pay $78 for visa fees to an Asian country. The bank was well organized, but the citizen was shocked when the bank refused to accept Iraqi dinars for the payment, insisting that only US dollars could be used. Despite the citizens' suggestions to use Visa or MasterCard, which were issued by the same bank, the bank declined and directed them to a nearby exchange office, where they had to buy dollars at a higher price of 1,545 IQD per USD. This situation raised a lot of questions, why would a government bank refuse to accept Iraqi dinars? How many other people are in the same situation? And most importantly, how can currency speculation be controlled if these kinds of issues are happening at official institutions? The comparison with other countries like Turkey, Jordan, and the UAE, where local currency is accepted for similar transactions, really highlights the challenges Iraq still faces in stabilizing its economy. That's it for today's update. What do you think about these recent developments? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the IQD and other currency news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.